welcome back guys on this video we have a P1441 it's on a Buick LeSabre 2000 and what I'm going to show you this I realize a lot of you guys don't have scanners scopes so we're going to forget the school we're going to go right straight to the problem easy way to check it out this is for you DIY guys most of the time these valves will stick open and by the way, P1441 means that the computer has detected a purge flow when the purge valve is not activated by the computer. So most of the time the valve is going to stick open. So I'm going to show you a way to do that with a hand vacuum pump. Very inexpensive tool to get. You can hook it up. <clears throat> if you see that the valve is open, won't hold a vacuum, right then, you know the valve is bad. You don't have to go through the electrical checks because most of the time that's going to be okay. So let's get to it and let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's remove this inspection cover. The uh, purge valve should be located right up in here. Alright, purge valve is right here. Now what I want to do is I want to do a vacuum test on this here valve to make sure mechanically it's okay. If you look right here, this here line right here goes to the intake manifold. This line right here is going back to the canister where the purge, where it's going to pull the vapors. The fuel vapors in through here, goes through the intake manifold and back in. So let me uh, disconnect this here connector. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my vacuum gauge. You see I got it right now. If I plug it up, you see it holds the vacuum. All right. This is a normally closed valve in a de-energized state. So I'm going to put my hand vacuum pump on there. Let's pump it up. As you can see, the valve is open. So that's where our problem is at. So we're going to have to get a new purge valve here. Let me see if I can make, make this thing kind of maybe seat. There we go. Now you can and, see it's working. Yeah. Okay, so right now it's working, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to replace this valve. All right, I told you this is going to be quick, dirty, and fast. So you saw that the valve was stuck open. I tapped it, and then the valve, you know, it fixed itself. So I'm going to put a new valve on there. No need to make a video. This is a really simple repair here. Anybody could do this. Uh, this is just a quick video just to show you that you don't need a lot of a lot of specialized equipment to make a repair. So once you see what you saw in the video where it wouldn't hold vacuum, that's it. You know that valve is bad. Get your new valve, twenty dollars for a valve, and you'll be get, you'll be good to go. You guys take care, and I'll see you in the next repair video.